Namaste everyone. Welcome to our channel My Home My Experiences. Today's topic is going to be how to child proof your house. I have made several other videos with regard to child care. Uh, you can have a look in case you're interested. Do subscribe to our channel and uh, share it with your family and friends. So let's start. The first thing is choosing the right play area for your child. Choose a room which is well ventilated and has adequate sunlight because in the earlier days you will be just spending most of the time feeding your baby taking care of him so it's better to keep them in a room where they can get good vitamin d as it uh, improves their immunity have a designated uh, play area section like i have placed a carpet here having a mirror also helps because once they start crawling they spend a good amount of time looking into the mirror and uh, a good change for them then baby proofing with regards to the bed the corner guards can be placed there this one is from ikea it's much better than the other foam based ones because the attachment the sticker attachment is so loose that it can come off this one from the ikea is really good i will link the product details in the description box for your um, reference then uh, keep the counters clean have nothing on the uh, side table desk like I have shown here, I see this is the foam based corner guard that I have used. Once she grows this, she will be able to remove that. Then again, cover the sockets with the socket guard. This is also available easily in the market of different size. For power socket, there is a different one. And uh, you can easily remove them when you want to charge and replace them. If you don't want to invest in such kind of uh, things, you can even place a cello tape. But then uh, it is going to be cumbersome when you want to use the socket for charging your mobile or for keeping uh, the any other item there so like you can see when they start growing big i have kept a uh, you know toys in that room so that only this room is designated for play area and no other room gets messy with regards to choosing the carpet choose the rice carpet which does not skid and uh, with that you'll have to go and check how sturdy it is try to walk on it because initially i had other carpet and my baby when she started to walk she would always skid so choosing the right carpet is also essential the next is your uh, doormat having a doormat at the entryway is always a good option to avoid dust entering in choose the one with the rubber base as they get a give an anti-skid uh, protection and they usually have good fur so they can absorb the dirt and the water again for the doors you need to have good door stoppers the one the conventional ones are actually not that good you can see i have covered it really with the uh, wrist uh, guard which you use in your hand this um, door stopper is from ikea again i really recommend this you'll have to check what is the space between the door and the floor because the same i tried to use at my mother's place she we couldn't use that because the space was not adequate so that measurement has to be taken into consideration all the cabinets that you use they have to be covered they have to be uh, the sharp edges have to be covered with this uh, rubber foam attachment the details of the products I'll mention. See, this one is not of that good quality. In fact, I will be making a video giving a review on which are the right, uh, you know, uh, the edge guards that should be used. See, again, this one, cabinet one, is not good. It is from Amazon, although it is cheaper, but then it's not at all worth it. The one that I'm showing you here is from IKEA, and I am really in love with this. See, it's not easy to open this because as the child grows, he can easily open the other one. But this one takes effort. And so you are 100% sure that the child will not be able to open this and is safe. Keep all the things that you, like all the chemical cleaning products which you don't want the child to access. Keep them in the drawer and you can just work without any worry. Choosing the right furniture is also very essential. Having round edges will ensure that there are less chances of your baby having uh, getting hurt. In fact, this starts even before your baby arrives. When you start investing in furniture, be careful next time. Like here, I have chosen round dining table. On the base, I covered it with foam because it had little sharp edges. So be careful next time whenever you're buying furniture. 
as this will reduce investing in buying further baby safety gear. These were some of the ideas that you can use to baby proof your house. If you have any ideas, please free feel to comment in this comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And um, if you're liking the video, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day. Namaste.